Okay, this is the unboxing of the new Affinia 3D printer H400. They've actually that. sent more tools than other printers, so we have a nice, some nice tools and all the parts, power cords, calibration directions, calibration directions. Very important. Nope. Printer seems to be very well boxed. Love the carrying handle. And, of course, filament holder. Okay, so here is everything that has come in the box. All right, we're ready for assembly. Okay, Xfinia H400, Xfinia H400. Uh, first step here after unboxing, open the front door, remove the top panels. Uh, find the printer head in the accessory box. Get a shot of that. This is what it looks like. Came right as one of your accessories. We've got some styrofoam still unpacked on the side. A little wiggle. Uh, uh. Getting those out. Pull yes. it up. Pull it up. Just gently from the back. Pull it up. There you go. And there you go. Perfect. Is there another one in the front? There yep. You go. And then, then it'll sink by itself. Which is nice because on the older models, if you do this, it'll go whoop, <laughs> and then you gotta recalibrate. Install printer and external spool holder. Align the print head to the slots in the print head mount. Let's see. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, you know what this is? You can see where this is going to slide in here, and there is a place for these to log in or to go in, so it slides up. Yes. So what we need to do is gently lift up. Trying not to force that. <laughs> It didn't slide yet. I could feel it wants to. Well, I'm a little re reluctant to slide too far. Let me see if it goes down better than up. It does go okay, down. Okay, so slide so going, from the top. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. There, it clicked yep. that time. It actually clicks in and locks. And a pin cable connection. Goes in effortlessly. So, align print head to slots. When installed correctly, the red and blue shaded parts should be at the same level. That looks like it's in pretty well. It is, it definitely clicked I think, in. I think it's fine. Okay, so. Next up will be install software and connect to the printer. So, setting up the power, you're going to plug in the uh, power cord that came, and right on the back of the printer, 
Um, you plug in the other end and you're good to go with power. So now the next step would be to connect. There's a cable that came. You will connect it to the USB hub on your computer and then it will go into so in the back here. The connector in the back right next to the power port. And we are connected to the computer. Now when you start the Athenia and you turn it on, you notice that there's a button on the right hand side uh, and it's showing red. This is the initialization button and when you press it, it will initialize your computer and get it ready to work with the software. As right now you can see it says printer not initialized. Okay, so after you press the button, you'll notice that the button turns blue. Uh, after it beeps and uh, the print bed moved around, went back and forth, and then you'll see on the software itself it says printer ready. Is, is there, so now we're going. It appears to be the same from both directions. Just at a, well, I guess not. We're going to start um, connecting the filament holder uh, with a plastic tube so that the plastic can feed into the printer itself. We took the top cover off. This is the plastic tube and uh, I'm going to show you how to connect the two. So we put the filament, uh, took the top off, put the filament inside and fed the plastic through the little hole in the back and actually can just kind of scrunch right in there. Right there. You take your uh, tubing and you're going to feed it through the tubing. And it's going to come out the other side. And um, the filament will probably get the, have a little kink in it. And so you'll need to take the tool and cut it so that you have a nice straight piece. And then that will help you actually get it into the head better. <coughs> Now on the back of the printer, you're going to see uh, a hole there. The whole tube will go right through, come through the top, and you can kind of see here, right down into the hole in the top of the print head. So there seems to be a missing step in the directions. We're told to hook the printer up to the computer, but we're finding that when we get to uh, step four in the directions, you actually need to take the uh, computer cord out of the back of the printer so that you can get the, um, the screen on the printer that they're asking you to manipulate. So yes. once, once you take the cable out, you'll get um, this screen on the printer and we can manipulate it from here, choose the material, calibrate, and configure. You will have to check and see uh, what kind of plastic that they sent you, but if you look on the side, uh, we have been given ABS, so that is the settings that we are going to choose. The next step that you have to do is recalibrate it. So I'm going to push the calibrate button. And we'll move around. So next you want to type, uh, press the material button and then press the down button to extrude and then your uh, machine is going to heat up. After it heats up you want to push the filament up at the top so you need to take the guide tube out. We lost our filament. time we didn't we did this it didn't push the filament didn't go down deep enough so you have to actually take the guiding tube out and then after a machine heats up you want to really push the filament 
down in until you'll see here that there's glue coming out. You want to keep pushing it down until you see the white filament coming out. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So you'll see the filament coming out now and it's blue and then it turns white and that shows that the filament is deep enough. Okay, so we're going to choose the material by hitting the material button and um, this allows us right here to choose, it's already on ABS, so we're going to leave it there and hit the back button. You can also check out under config, this would be where you start setting your Wi-Fi settings, which we are not going to do today because that's going to be different depending on what Wi-Fi you're on but these printers do uh, work with a Wi-Fi connection. There's also another initialize button so that you can see what happens. So it's gonna, looks like it's gonna go through initialization, initialization again. And just so that you can see what's happening, I'm gonna open the door. And so when you push that blue button earlier, it would have kind of gone up and down and the printer would move to kind of get itself set up. Okay, and we are all set. The light is blue, and we're back to our main menu. So that concludes uh, setting up the brand new. Finia 3D H400 Richard.